Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all your respected dignitaries, distinguished speaker, honorable participants, and the loving audience. All beautiful people present here from all around the globe. I, Ms. Nada Ratkoc, the IAU co-founder of Europe, the president of Research Centre, board member, country director of Croatia, welcome you all to the first technical symposium on intellectual property rights 2023 on the topic ideas to intellectual property IPR day four. Today, uh, today day five, the last day, the event for all the educators, science, researchers, students around the globe. And this great symposium organized by International Internship University, IIU Research Center, Tapar Institute of Engineering and Technology, Atiala and Eureka Rise Problems. We, we learn so much these days and I can say uh, with little effort, we can really start doing in this great field. We learn about the intellectual property rights, like rights who are given to the persons over the creation of their minds. Use that. Let the creation be on your mind. So today, let's continue and let's finish this amazing symposium. Let me introduce our organizers. International Internship University, a leading ritual education system, Global Brand Confederation, which is the most valuable and trusted worldwide and well reputed in delivering innovative programs. Under the strong leadership of its visionary founder, Mr. Piyush Pandit Sir, a committed and inspiring social activist, a passionate educationist from last two decades. The Tupper Institute of Engineering and Technology, TIET, is the one of India's oldest and finest educational institutions, which provides a steady source of highly skilled talent to the nation as well as overseas. Rated amongst the top ranked innovation driven private universities and technical institutes in the country. And I can say proudly that today, here and all these days with me, a great Dr. Selvi Ganguly, who is organizer of this wonderful symposium, and Eureka Prize Problems. Also, our great Dr. Selvi Ganguly, a COM founder. And the objective behind developing the society is to promote research ambience amongst UG students through organizing competitions, expert talks, seminars, webinars, some technical sessions, and encouraging them to write research articles. And yes, be free. You can make a collaboration with Great Eureka Prize Problems also. And your students can have great conferences, sessions, workshops, training. So be free and contact. Uh, the last organizer is Research Center. Research Center is a unique hub. It is giving an opportunity to the researchers, authors, educators, students, scholars across the globe and enhances the research opportunities, academic excellence, real world problem solving, knowledge creation and dissemination. Me, Professor Nada Radkoc, as a president of IAU Research Center, thinks if you have ever thought about how would be the world without education, research, science, innovation, technology, or any development of anything, then the IAU and IAU Research Center are the right place for you. Let's learn together about intellectual property rights 2023. The ideas to IPR, the day five of this great symposium. Let us today explore diverse and gain international experience, skills, and knowledge. First and foremost, I want to call before I call uh, today uh, our great expert, our great. Uh, a uh, trainer today. I would like to call Dr. Sovi Ganguly to say a few words. Welcome, Dr. Sovi. 
uh good evening ma'am uh, good evening all the participants uh, and uh, welcome to this uh, particular technology uh, technical symposium on uh, ipr uh, so we are moving ahead for the fifth day today we had great four days in which we had covered so many topics and i think uh, we'll have today another great speaker dr tapsina kwal with us to uh, share her knowledge regarding ipr she had been Uh, working with me, collaborating with me regarding uh, different uh, German as well as South African patents as well. So uh, she had been associated. Uh, she had a very long association uh, in doing her PhD. We were uh, uh, pursuing the PhD from the same institute, so we had a long association as well. So let us welcome now today, uh, Dr. Tapsi Nakpal, uh, for our presentation. on innovations through ipr innovations and inventions through ipr so welcome ma'am uh, tapsi ma'am good evening once again yes good, good evening, evening dr savik ganguly good evening professor nada i yes. heartily thank you for honoring me with this talk and i am really grateful to you every time i am on this platform i really you know admire both of you so dynamic personalities and i really wish by heart that you guys go high and high uh, keep, yes thank you before you before i want to stop see you before you start i want to introduce you more uh, more to our audience Our great Dr. Tapsi Nagbal is an associate professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, a research and PhD coordinator at Lingyes Vidipit Ferry Dabad. She has her education and academic experience has provided her a various significant insights into engineering curriculum in the terms of academic research industry sectors over the past. 11 years of teaching posted as associate professor and a phd research coordinator at the university early she served as a uh, reserved letter of appreciation for bringing a research person for the training session conducting by training learning developing departments of international internship university working as a session chair keynote speaker technical events organizer such as seminars workshops technical conferences reviewer in top i e e e l severe and springle journals granted for published three international patents bestowed with women in science and innovation of the year 2022 she published so many research articles and she's a peer reviewer journal and presented several research paper both in national and international conferences so she's giving research exposure on her phd research area in independent study course uh, and etc she's taking the initiative of advanced technical skills development center in the campus giving her semester then training on power system reliability on the machine learning to the students of all disciplines as additional inputs awarded with so many awards like a woman in science in innovation in the year 2022 welcome great uh, dr tapsi and enlighten us with your great uh, topics and today uh ideas and innovations through ipr welcome thank you so much ma'am once again i i will not waste the time and uh, kindly permit me to share my ppt can i share yes you can yes you can i think it is visible ma'am is it visible Uh, yes, uh, it, is, it, is it is great. It is great. Yes. Yeah, you can go ahead. Uh, I beg your pardon because I have to, uh, you know, switch off my video. I have to turn off my video to make the proper connectivity of the network to continue. No problem. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Today, uh, we'll be learning about the new topic that is ideas and innovations. 
through ITR. So let's first understand what is idea. What is an idea? Idea is any, you know, any feeling, any conception that comes in your mind. As a result, if we understand something, if we are aware of something, if we do something, if it is an action. So that's an idea. Let's take an example. If I think something, I conceive something or it's some feeling, do we say, what an excellent idea. Idea may be an impression also. Just like we take this example, his ideas on raising children are certainly strange. Idea may be an opinion, it may be a view or maybe a fate. Just like we take the example that the idea of becoming an engineer. Idea may be a plan of action, a deliberation, an intention. It may be a supposition which is not having any base, which is groundless, just like a fantasy. What is a fantasy? Fantasy is daydreaming. Whatever we think about, we start daydreaming about it. And see, uh, if you have attended my earlier lectures, uh, I gave my first seminar on goal orientation. There I explained that if we are, you know, thinking something good and we keep on thinking it, make it a fantasy and start making our actions oriented to achieve those thinking, then we are much more successful in life. That's a goal orientation path. Now let's understand what is creativity, what is innovation. Creativity is nothing, but it is if we are able to make or otherwise bring into existing something new, something novel. It may be a new solution to a problem. It may be a new method. It may be a new device. It may be a new art. It may be a new artistic object or a shape. Now what about innovation? Innovation, today is the world of innovation. Very new things, very novel things, creative things. That means introducing something new. That new thing may be an idea, maybe a method, it may be a device. We can also think of creativity as the combination of idea and action. And innovation as a combination of creativity and productivity. The outcome, which is very good, it's known as a good productivity. We can also think of innovation these days. When an idea comes into mind, we work according that, to that idea and the outcome, which is good, that continues to be a good productivity and that sums to a innovation. So innovation, it is the ability to understand something than to expand something, than to, you know, deliver something and, you know, make new products, new services, processes and business models for customers and just establishing them to great heights, all these things. Innovation may be a new idea, it may be a new method, new device, just like Novelty. We always talk about that if your work is novel, then you are being sorted for. Something new or different that has been introduced, it counts to innovation. Let's have an example. Numerous innovations in the high school curriculum. When the curriculum, it doesn't suit the requirement of the society, it is upgraded. As per the creativity, as per the innovative ideas from one's own mind. Now, let's understand this technology push linear model of innovation. The technology push linear model of innovation, it is a theoretical framework that describes the process of innovation in which new technologies are developed based on scientific research, and then pushed onto the market. This model assumes 
that innovation is a linear process with a linear sequence of steps, very clear sequence of steps, and that it is driven by the supply of new technologies rather than by market demand. According to this model, innovation begins with a basic research which generates new scientific knowledge and understanding. This knowledge is then applied to develop new technologies through the applied research and development. Once the technologies have been developed, they are tested and refined through prototyping and testing. We all understand what is prototyping. Prototyping is just creating sample model. Testing it first before, you know, making it commercial. And then manufactured and it is marketed to consumers if found satisfactory. The technology push model assumes that the primary source of innovation is scientific research and that technological development is driven by the supply of new knowledge and technologies. The model also assumes that market demand for new products and technologies is relatively constant and that new technologies will naturally find a market once they are developed. Now, critics of the technology push model argue that it oversimplifies the process of innovation and ignores the role of market demand, user feedback, and other social and economic factors in shaping the development and adoption of new technologies. Many modern models of innovation take a more holistic approach recognizing the complex and iterative nature of the innovation process and the importance of multiple feedback loops between scientific research, technological development, market demand, and user feedback. User feedback is very important because a critical feedback helps a model to excel in commercialization in the market. Now, what is innovation process? Innovation starts as an idea. I earlier told you that it's a new idea. It may be a new thing, which is evaluated. It is refined and it is developed before it is applied or acted upon. Innovations may be inspired by the known problem, which is a real-time problem. The innovation process leads to useful technology that is useful to the society at a small scale or at large, what are the requirements of an innovation process? It requires research. It should be a new things which is searched again and again. Development, upscaling, we just make it reach to heights, testing the production, producing it to a large scale, marketing it, making it more commercial, sale, selling it, use, using it by the consumer. So experience with the product results in feedback, which leads to incrementally or radically improved innovation. See, I earlier told you also feedback is very important because it's helped in reaching the product to a great height. Once we, you know, include the improvement suggested in the feedback, the product is very much in demand because it is according to the customer satisfaction right now what is ipr very beautiful term ipr stands for intellectual property rights it's a set of exclusive rights which are granted to inventors or creators of an idea invention or creative expression which is based on the willingness of consumer so that it can be featured upon or bestowed upon the status of property. Now, the Office of Intellectual Property Enforcement, which is known as IPE, this office is at United States Department of State. This department works very closely with 
US ambassadors and diplomats around the world so as to protect IPR and promote global innovation, innovation around the world. And it also promotes the growth of economy. The things which are new, which are different, they are being introduced in the market. Now, intellectual property is the property which is created by one or more than one person using his own or her own intelligence for dynamic use in commerce in, for the purpose of commercialization and which is not available in the consumer domain. What are the examples of IP? An invention relating to a product or a process. It may be a new design of an article. It may be a literary or artistic work. It may be a trademark, including a word, symbol, or a logo, and anything beyond that. Now, what is the relationship between innovation and intellectual property rights? We understood what are ideas. We understood what is innovation. We understood what is intellectual property rights. Now let's understand what is the relationship between innovation and intellectual property right. The use of property-like rights is to infuse in our lives the innovations of various types. And it may be the oldest institutional arrangement which is particular to innovation as a social phenomenon. Now it is customary to refer these rights as IPR, that is, intellectual property rights. These rights constitute old rights also, such as patents for inventions, trade secrets, copyrights, trademarks, and design rights. That means anything new in these areas, maybe a trade area, maybe a writing something that is a copyrighted one, cannot copy one's you know, uh, if somebody writes something, if somebody, you know, if somebody like, if we say if somebody invents some process or a product, so he or she will have copyright on that. Trademark also, as I earlier discussed, it's a word, logo or a symbol. If somebody gives a good design and that design is helpful to the society at a small scale or at a large scale, then those design rights are, you know, under the umbrella of IPRs. Together with new ones such as breeding rights and database rights. So what is a database? It's this collection of data. Various IPRs usually have long legal and economic histories. And they are controversial too. IPR is the statutory right granted by the government to the one who is applying for it or to the one who owns an intellectual property. It excludes all those from exploiting the IP commercially for a given period of time. See, it's very important that it is for a given period of time only, right? Instead of the disclosure of his or her intellectual property in an IPR application. One does not, you know, it's it's not required by the applicant to disclose his or her IP, that means intellectual property, in any IPR application, right? Let's see why it is important to have intellectual property rights. It's property. If somebody is intelligent, that's his or her property. That's an asset. And it may be exploited by the owner for commercial gains. That's not good. That's why we need some standards. We need some rights so that it's not exploited. IP owner can stop others from manufacturing. That others cannot manufacture, cannot sell the products and services which are duly protected by the IP owner. Yes, but IP owner can sell and can license the IP for commercial gains. It's his or her own will. 
continuing with the importance of IPRs. It can be used to establish the goodwill and the brand value of a particular new product, new process, new design in the market. The inventor, creator, or the writer of an intellectual property can quote, can write his or her resume about writing about the IP and thus showing his competence, how competent he or she is. The IPR certificate establishes legal and proven ownership about his or her intellectual property. Let's understand what are the kinds of IPR. IPRs are protected in accordance with the provisions provided by corresponding legislations of a particular of the respective country. In India, when we talk about IPRs, they can be protected. And it, it, uh, IPR may be a monopoly, but we have different acts for them, mainly, for example, in 1970, there was an act, the Patent Act. Then in 2000, we had Designs Act. Then in 1999, we had the Trademark Act. Again in 1999, we had the Geographical Indications of Goods Act. 1957, the Copyright Act. In, in 2000, prediction of integrated circuits layout and designs. In 2001, we had protection of plant varieties and farmers' rights and also trade secret. Continuing with the kinds of IPR, the Patent Act is to protect the technology. The Trademark Act is to protect words, signs, logos, labels as discussed earlier. The Designs Act is to protect outer ornamental configuration. So what is ornamental configuration? That is to beautify anything. Ornament is for nothing. It is to make the things look more beautiful, more attractive. And the Geographical Indications of Goods Act is to protect region-specific product, a product which is found in a specific region only. In order to protect that product, the region-specific product, the geographical indications of goods act is there. And what about the Copyright Act? It protects literary and art artistic work by somebody. It's about someone writes something. If someone does some art, that can be protected by the Copyright Act. It's very important to mention here that all kinds of IPRs are territorial rights. They belong to a particular territory. Let's understand the link between all the three. All the three, that means intellectual property rights, innovation and growth. Growth is the basic factor which is a key role, you know, which plays a significant role in enhancement of anything in making something commercial or something else, growth is very important. So IPRs are widely believed to play a crucial role in encouraging innovation. You know, they just give a good push to innovation, foster the technological progress, they give growth to technological process and they stimulate the economy also in its growth. IPR encourages innovation. Why? Because they grant successful inventors what? Temporary monopoly. Monopoly is there, but it is temporary monopoly power over their innovation. Any inventor, any innovator can have temporary monopoly power over his successful invention. Now, over the years, many IPR instruments with different purposes, different application fields, they have been developed. When we see about when we talk about industrial revolution onwards, the power of preventing others from using one's intellectual creations, it has been strengthened. Why it has been strengthened? To encourage the private investment rather than the, in, the intervention of government. It is to encourage the private sector investment in such activities which are creative, which are innovative and to promote sustainable economic growth. That means 
such economic growth, which is sustainable. The main intention has been to control the relationship between the innovators, creators, and the consumer. And to reward whom? Innovators, creators for their ideas. Now it is customary to refer to these rights as intellectual property rights. And I have already told you that intellectual property rights, they comprise of, they constitute inventions, trade secrets, copyrights, trademarks, design rights. We have already discussed together with new ones and reading rights and database rights. This is very important. So that's why I have repeated this very customary talk. Continuing with the link between the three. Now the question arises. Are IPR in fact responsible for, you know, inducing innovation and as a result economic growth? How or how much IPR just pushes innovation and economic growth? Has it attracted considerable attention from the economists? The related theoretical literature it has increased considerably. We have a lot of literature these days which can, you know, give us the proof that IPR, innovation and growth are interrelated. This causal relationship is little ambiguous also, both in theory and literature as well. Now, the complexity of the effects across the globe, it forms and time is justified by different approaches in the literature. Lots of literature, every literature has encountered with a different approach about the relationships between the three. Now, IPR are important for R&D activities also. The research is the backbone of any sector today. So in developed economies, IPRs are very significant. They play a very significant role in research and development countries activities, but not in the development economies. This is very important, right? A positive impact of IPR has been found on innovation in developing countries. U-shaped relationship between IPR and economic growth. This is very important, right? We have, uh, you know, an author, he came in 2006. He showed that stronger IPR protection induces faster growth in developed countries. And it also has a positive impact upon the growth rate of the poorest countries. Here we can see that the effects of IPR, they are not completely clear. Coming to the conclusion part, IPRs and open innovation. If we talk about these two terms, they are two sides of the same coin. They coincide particularly well when companies realize that they should invest more on the opportunities that rather on the properties and if there is a contradiction they are rather in company's mindset than between the actual concepts finally the exact answers to the party's concerns depend on two things one what is the nature of open innovation project the what is the situation of the seeking company on ips the nature of end product and market. And finally, on the technology provider situation. What is the situation of the one who is providing us with the technologies? Continuing, the seeking company shall ask which question? Before finalizing anything, they should ask, am I looking for a product, product core technology, improvements or peripheral function? That means, Am I going into the core part of the technology or am I looking into the improvement part or I am just touching the boundary? So what is the added value of the technology for my product and business? Right? Why for my product, for my business, technology is 
important. What significant role technology is playing for the commercialization of my product, for the scaling, for rising heights of my business? Can the provider compete with me on my market at some point? It's very important. Now, is time to market more important than long-term protection for this product? Is time to market more important? That means the value of time is very important. So I have to see whether I have to look for short-term goals or I have to look for long-term goals. So here I conclude my talk. Thank you so much, everyone, for being so patient. Yes, once again, uh, we had a nice interaction uh, regarding ideas and innovations with IPR. Uh, thank you, Dr. Tapshi. Once again, I uh, would uh, cordially thank you uh, for giving such a nice talk, a nice uh, uh, representation of how we can develop the ideas, how we can move about uh, with the uh, innovations, how, how, what are the different types of IPR, I think, uh, some slides of yours are repetitive uh, as we had already been discussing for five days uh, because but at the same time they're interesting too because uh, uh, you talked about the different patent acts that that adds value to your uh, presentation as well apart from that uh, uh, we we all are into collaboration all are moving for trying to develop something new something innovative uh, trying to uh, bring about some devices, uh, uh, trying to bring about our inventions to uh, patenting them, of course. So, of course, uh, it is a good eye-opener for uh, all the participants online uh, to uh, work now and, and think over now into intellectual property rights as well. And uh, uh, I, I think it's an eye-opener for every participant who are there in the online platform. Uh, that we have at least introduced different forms of representation in our in, uh, five days. Uh, we are concluding today almost, and uh, uh, Tapsi, ma'am, you are uh, uh, having a great presentation on working on the innovation side, working on the uh, types of uh, IPRs and their patent acts. Uh, we had a great presentation of Dr. Vivek also, uh, who worked on uh, uh, the patent laws and uh, uh, which tells you uh, that which which uh, of the things can be patented and which cannot be patented. So he gave very good examples in that way. And uh, of course, when we talk about uh, innovations, uh, I, I think it raises for we cannot go out of control and we cannot go out of IoT. So we had purposely uh, kept a schedule for innovations with uh, uh, internet of things uh, because uh, all leads to uh, because uh, if you, you talk about uh, precision agriculture if you talk about uh, uh, smart healthcare uh, all these are possible smart waste management to all these are possible uh, with with iot so the iot based inventions uh, we had a great speaker in the form of uh, dr orun uh, who has uh, delivered a very beautiful session uh, with different innovations and uh, different uh, inventions with respect to IoT. Apart from that, I uh, myself we interacted on uh, uh, introduction to patent drafting. So uh, sometimes you you uh, go to or go or approach your attorney for your for your drafting, uh, and sometimes their charges are not uh, less even. So. Uh, why not try it on our own and try to file on our own because everything is online, everything is available. We have a very uh, good uh, course on uh, patent drafting uh, available in YouTube if you can uh, search it out uh, where uh, IIT uh, Madras professor is uh, talking about the different aspects of patents. How do you write 
the different sections of uh, of a patent. So we try to uh, emulate these sort of feature because sometimes when you are talking about inventions, when you are developing some hardware, when you are having some collaborations, uh, we always have to put it in facts and figures as well. So for that, we require to prepare the draft and uh, writing the draft of a research article is absolutely different from what we write in the form of a patent draft. So that was also a, a, a bit exposure to the participants on the uh, patent drafting as well. Apart from that, we were rather unfortunate to not to have uh, uh, Dr. Bipin, uh, who is from NID Silchia. Uh, he he uh, had some internet issues uh, for which he could not deliver, although he passed on his slides uh, so that uh, whatever collaborative work which we had carried out uh, long back in 2020 or 2021 sometimes, uh, that that could be presented. So uh, uh, on behalf of Dr. Bipin, I presented and uh, try to uh, address the areas of uh, control system, uh, dealing with time delay system, fractional order control system, unstable dynamics of different aircraft technology or heart assist device and so on and so forth. So we had been tried to address all those uh, stuff uh, through uh, the patent ideas in system and control as well. So all the aspects uh, for a basic learner or for an advanced learner as well, uh, we had covered uh, all the aspects in our first technical symposium on intellectual property rights. I hope uh, all the participants have enjoyed thoroughly uh, and uh, tried to at least make a beginning uh, to the exposure of patent or uh, copyright or any other intellectual property uh, that they are thinking to protect. So uh, I think with this, we can, we can conclude uh, today and hand over the stage to uh, Professor Nada Ma'am, and uh, I hope uh, she is available. And uh, I, I think uh, we we can uh, uh, conclude the session. We have learned a lot, and we expect to uh, do such type of technical symposiums ahead. Uh, where specifically, I have some plans ahead. I'll, I'll uh, of course share uh, with uh, Nada Ma'am as well for carrying out such type of activities with patent laws specifically because unless and until you know the patent laws or the uh, know the uh, uh, different laws how to draft and uh, what are the uh, different courses that will allow you to make a draft as well how can you make a career with uh, as a patent attorney so these type of things we are exciting things we are coming up ahead uh, in, in our uh, future uh, propositions so with this i conclude and uh, over to you another ma'am for uh, have final closing remarks. First, I want to give a big clap to uh, to our great uh, Dr. Tapsi Nampal for this uh, great session, uh, for so many ideas and innovations through the IPR. And I can say a woman and so proud and Dr. Tapsi for doing this great work uh, like an associate professor in the Department of Computer Science Engineering and working a lot in the field of research and on the PhD coordinator. Dr. Sovic, what to say to you? I'm really honored. I always like to work with you. These five days were amazing, really. I'm so sorry that we are finishing this symposium because it was really great. It was really great. Uh, so great uh, work, sir, researchers, uh, uh, the lectures and our audience really have a big chance to learn a lot new things, especially uh, the persons who are not in this field. So uh, that is uh, our uh, that was our aim uh, to give our audience, to give the educators, to give researchers new knowledge, new ideas, and especially here uh, when we are talking about the patents, uh, innovations, intentions. So that is really today uh, very important. If we are, we are living uh, in a modern society, we are living uh, in a world where what today uh, we learn already tomorrow is old. So uh, I want to uh, thanks uh, also to first to our Dr. Selvi Ganguly, for the great introduction to the patent drafting. 
for great collaboration with the Eureka Prize Problems and Tupper Institute of Engineering and Technology from India. Uh, then I want to thanks to our great Dr. Vivek Arya uh, for giving the topic, the role of IPRs in academia and industry. Uh, Dr. Vivek, uh, thank you so much. Uh, then I want to thanks to our great Dr. Arun Kumarana, who gave us a lecture on the topic innovations with the Internet of Things. Thank you. Thank you, great uh, Dr. Arun. Uh, Dr. So we present Dr. Vipin Chandra Pal. Uh, I hope that we will uh, in the future have opportunity to meet him. Uh, yesterday, Dr. So gave us a great uh, lecture on the topic patent ideas with systems and control. Uh, and we finish with an amazing lady with Dr. Tapsi Nakpal with great ideas, great innovations through IPN. I want to thanks to our great founders and Piyush Pandit for giving us the opportunity, for giving us this great stage of IIU. Uh, because, uh, you know, uh, every, every our idea can be realized. Our great founder is giving us a big opportunity. So whatever, uh, any symposium, any conference, any webinar, any training session, uh, any competition, everything, everything uh, we can do here uh, at the IAU. Uh, and so uh, if anyone has a great idea, uh, we can make that, we can realize any idea you have. Uh, what to say more? Uh, I, I, will, I will repeat again. Uh, I'm sorry that we finished today but uh, very soon we will come with something new. Uh, thank you, our lovely audience. Thank you for being with us because I was monitoring. We have audience who was with us from the first day. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Continue being with us. Uh, also, you can thank our great Dr. Sovic uh, for this opportunity. Uh, and you can watch our Dr. Sovic. You can catch him also uh on the igp and uh, you know uh, we can find uh, dr sovic uh on the more uh more events giving so many lectures because uh he uh i can say that his life is really education research science technology innovation so dr sovic please take little care about yourself about yourself <laughs> We all need to take care about our health. And our great Dr. Tapsi, please, uh, she is an amazing lady. And yes, uh, give her uh, more, uh, more opportunities, more patents. And yes, involve me and Dr. Tapsi with you in your patents. So think sure, on that. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> think on that. Yes, we are women, but we are women capable strong, capable woman, and we can, what we start, we can finish. So Dr. Sovic, always have that on your mind. Yes, of course, I'll, I'll definitely. <laughs> Dr. Tapsi, please, few words for our audience. Yes, ma'am. I just want to congratulate both of you for organizing such an amazing symposium. Second, I think uh, second time the symposium is uh, happening, you know? Yes, yes. And Dr. And Dr. Yeah, it's Tapsi, a second time. you were with yeah. us and first time. First time you were I will be there, ma'am. It's an honor to be with both of you. It, it's really my pleasure. It's my hearty pleasure to be with you guys. You are so systematic. You are so good. You are so amazing. You are talking about Dr. Swavik. I know he is very instrumental, but when I talk about you, Professor Nada, you are so laborious, so laborious. Day and night, you start working. I've started, you know, once I wanted to talk to you, but the thing was when I called you, you were like, Jolly, finish it up fast because I have lots of work to do. <laughs> I'm so busy. So you are an inspiration. Both of you are a great inspiration to you for everyone and I'm so proud to say that I am associated with you. Thank That's you. my honor. That's an Thank honor. You. 
Thank, Thank you, you so much, much. ma'am, for uh, coming to our session, uh, making our participants uh, uh, learn something new uh, regarding innovations, ideas to IPR. Uh, I think uh, in all these five days, uh, the participants have learned a lot. And uh, we are getting some reactions in the Facebook live sessions, in the YouTube links as well, uh, that <clears throat> the uh, station is going fine. And uh, as far as the comments are concerned, you can later on look at the comments in all the live stations. We got comments, we got views, uh, we got likes as well, we got shares as well. So this is also a tremendous uh, support from our participants. Kudos to our participants as well. Yes. Yes, I, without them, this will not have a value. So thank you. Thank you once again, our great audience. Thank you. And also be with us always. Be with us because today, technical symposium. Tomorrow we have, you will see, a very, we're starting with a project, very interesting project our students are doing. So be with us at uh, Sunday, at Sunday celebration of international uh, Mother's Day. So every day something new, every day something special. So be with us, be with us, continue learning and growing with us. So we come, Dr. So, to the end of the session. Good evening. Bye bye. Have a blessed time. Take care. Yes. Bye. Yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.